Well guys, it's time for something dramatic and complex. I'm going to show you how to create a dramatic looking photo manipulation. Um, dark gothic like with a complex background as well. So let's get started. And I think this is this is the first the first time that I'm going to start with the background instead of the model. So we have these three images here. And I'm going to try and create a single one. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to go to image adjustments, hue and saturation, and I'm just gonna slightly desaturate it like this. And I think I'm going to do no, I'm going to match that when, when I'm going to drag it. So let's dra drag this over here. Hit Ctrl T and make it smaller to something like this. With a very soft and round brush, make sure you erase the sky like this. I'm going to keep only part of this. So, first of all, I'm going to delete the sides here and here. I'm going to erase, you know whatever I don't like, like this, because it's basically a reflection of the old mountains that I don't want. Maybe like this. And now I'm gonna hit on Ctrl T and I'm just gonna make this bigger. And I'm going to image adjustments, human saturation. I'm gonna desaturate this as well. And I'm gonna zoom in here. I make sure it matches, you know. If you hear weird sounds, that's my kitten bouncing all around. So, you've been warned. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to make this darker. I think this is good. And actually, I'm going to go to Edit Transform and flip this like this, because as you can see, the light, uh, the stronger light in is in here rather than it was here. So, I think like this, it's matching. It's a better match. So... Okay. I'm gonna select this side here and here. A feather radius to about 200, like this. And I'm just gonna darken it like this. This is good for now. I'm just just gonna name this second background layer. Okay. Now I'm gonna drag the sky. I don't know if it matches. I liked it because it's dramatic and you know the perspective is is good. So I'm gonna zoom out, go to image canvas size. And I'm gonna work on the on the height here. I'm just gonna put in three, and I'm gonna click this so I make sure it only goes like this. Good. This might be a little too big, so let's hit Control T and see exactly how big it is. Okay, I'm gonna make this smaller and bigger like this. Okay, I'm gonna erase with a soft brush the edges here and to make sure that it matches I'm gonna I'm gonna desaturate this one a little more like this and make a selection as you can see you know the light would hit like this so I'm making a selection Right click, feather, 
500 this time. Go to select inverse and let's darken this up. And do the same thing with the second background layer, like this. Okay, and because I don't want it to be a square image, I'm gonna go ahead and maybe crop it like this. And I'm going to canvas size again. I'm gonna click this so I make sure it only goes to the right. And I'm gonna put in the width 3. Okay, zoom out to see and select all of this. Um, first of all, you will have to take the layer from background like this so you can work freely on it. And I'm just gonna make it look like this. And I'm just gonna crop this out. So for now we have this. This looks good. And we're gonna move on to the model. I'm gonna use this model but um, I'm only gonna use the top part of her. I don't need this lower dress here because I'm gonna I'm gonna use and create another dress, uh, bottom dress for her. So I'm just gonna go ahead and actually crop this image like this. And I'm gonna make a selection. And I'm just gonna go and go ahead and erase. I'm using this um, magic eraser tool I think it's called, yes. And then I'm going with the regular eraser to make sure you know there's nothing else left. I don't like this the side here but I'm gonna take care of that later so I'm not now I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna drag this over my my background like this. Obviously it's too big so I'm gonna hit Ctrl T and I'm just gonna make this smaller. Maybe something like this and I just feel that the balloons take up too much space so I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate my layer and go to filter liquify make sure you use this mask to freeze out your model and now with the liquify tool I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this in just make sure you know you you just follow a clear line so we don't get this balloons too distorted because we don't want that Okay, once you're done and pleased with what you see, just make sure you click on it. And as you can see, the difference, you know, it doesn't seem so big anymore. I still feel, you know, we could lose a couple of them, but I'm gonna see that on the go. So, the next thing that I'm going to do is actually I'm going to build her dress. So I'm taking this side from here and I'm gonna drag I'm gonna drag it here. Control T and make this smaller. Actually I'm gonna leave it like this for now because I think I need to make the model even smaller. Just feel she takes up a lot of space like this. And I'm just gonna get rid of some of these balloons. I'm gonna start with 
this one here. I'm gonna zoom out to see exactly what I need and what I don't need. And I think I'm gonna stick with... Let's see... I'm gonna get rid of this side first and then I'll move on to the next one. I'll go on with this. I'm going to remove this one too. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and um, and select. I'm making this rough selection just so I can see exactly what what it will look like. You know, imagine what it would look like without them. Just try and erase to see. Oh, th this would look good. And if we remove these two here, and maybe this one as well, and we drag this down, it will look it 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 will look good. So let's just make sure we make the fixes here. Okay, let's make another selection here. Don't worry about the margins because we're going to fix that as soon as we finish removing balloons properly. Make sure you make the selection as good as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, it will only help. Okay, and the last ones that we are going to remove are this from here. Let's make a selection. And we're gonna just drag this ones down, but let's make um let's fix this ugly margins now. Choose a very small soft brush and just go over the edges. Okay, once you're done with that, go again to liquify, make sure you mask your model, and drag this 
just this side here. Make sure it goes down like this and like this. Now as you can see, we made it a lot, a lot smaller. Look at this. Okay. Drag her up here because I want to make her look really tall and put back the layer with the dress. Hit Ctrl T now. Uh, let's make sure. Let's name this model. Um, model copy and dress. Okay. Ctrl T on your dress layer and just drag this here, make it smaller until you get something like this maybe thinner 